Hi class and welcome to week two of Introduction to Healthcare Delivery Systems. So in this video, I'll be going over the materials that are provided to you this week, as well as the assignments that are due. So let's get started. All right, first, as you can see, here are the learning objectives for this week. I know they seem like a lot, but since this is a, an accelerated uh, course, a very short term, that we have um, there's a lot to cover all right so below that we have the assignments for this week so you have the discussion board um, assignment that is based on the learnscape scenario three which is titled customer satisfaction that is due and you will be responsible for writing up a recommendation on the topics addressed and the questions assigned in this discussion board assignment. Now remember, when you're prompted, when you're going through the virtual scenario and you're prompted to answer questions or submit something, do not submit anything. I don't see those submissions. But make sure to follow the instructions that I have in the discussion board forum for this assignment where it um, instructs you to put together a recommendation and what should be included in the recommendation, etc. Okay, now it is due on April 9th, which is Sunday. And remember, you are responsible for responding to two of your fellow classmates. Now, there's another discussion board assignment, which is actually a movie critique. And you get to choose which movie you'd like to watch either Sicko or Escape Fire, The Fight to Rescue American Healthcare. And I have questions that are um, assigned for either movie. And you will be posting those questions um, in your new discussion board thread or your assignment thread that you'll be creating. You will also be responsible for responding to two of your fellow classmates. But of course, there'll be opinion responses. I do expect all your responses, regardless of what the discussion board assignment is, to be meaningful. It needs to demonstrate that you've actually read and put some thought into what your peer posted about. So keep that in mind. Quick reminder, global, it should say global slash national, depending on what topic you have chose. If you chose a global health challenge or another country's healthcare system or a national healthcare issue um, going on here in the US. Whichever topic caught your attention, you are responsible for putting together a detailed outline of your paper. I know it sounds a little annoying, but it really helps you brainstorm and just really organize what you'll be covering, what your thesis statement is. Remember, you need to be able to support it with credible evidence, right? Uh, credible research. And I know um, some people feel like creating the outline is tedious. It really does help with papers and especially the longer the paper is, um, or even a presentation to give you an idea of how you want to convey your message. So remember, I do have a sample outline that I'd like you to check out. So you're aware of the format I expect to see. I do expect to see a thesis statement. You are supposed to have at least five references in your reference list, everything follow an APA format. Throughout your outline, I do expect um, in-text citations, letting me know what sources were used for the research that you're presenting. Um, you know, and the more detail, the easier the task will be putting your video presentation together. I know in this specific class, we're not putting a paper together due to the short time frame um, of the duration of this course, but it will help you put together your video presentation, organize your thoughts and um, kind of allow the different topics you address to flow easier because you'll have a little blueprint of how you'll be presenting it. Anyway, this outline is not due this week. It is due next week, April 15th. All right. Now I'm going to scroll a little further down. Um, again, 
the little to-do list there. Um, there are readings, uh, chapter five, seven, and eight. Again, you're supposed to complete your discussion board assignments. Remember, there are two. And review the video lectures, which are right here I have for chapter five, seven, and eight. And make sure to view the videos for this week. All right, so there are the video lectures. Oh, I have a little to-do section again. Sorry, I guess I uh, forgot to erase the one we just saw. Again, make sure you complete everything on this list before going on to the following week. Really quick, I'm gonna jump to the content page with the chapter PowerPoints and the files that include the terms from the chapters. So remember, this is chapter five, seven, and eight. Definitely, I mean, I, I strongly suggest for you to download the PowerPoint presentations. They're a great guide as you read your chapters. And then below that, I have some information that is in the textbook and that I've included here um, for chapter five, just going over the changes that brought about um, medical technology and what is really meant when we use the term medical technology. Now below that is chapter seven, and I have a table here that kind of goes through the different, um, what kind of entails like primary care. And uh, I've included kind of like a, a little, you know, a definition example to give you an idea. So the terms included here is primary care, primary care practice, um, what a PCP is, and now um, non-physician primary care providers. And when we talk about that, we're talking about NPs, um, nurse practitioners, as well as PAs or physician assistants. And then below that is a little more information on the topic of primary care, looking at the um, definitions, comparing them, the one created or um, presented by the World Health Organization, as well as the one um, presented by the Institute of Medicine or IOM. And then we go into outpatient services, reasons for growth, um, types of primary care and then last covers chapter eight and here we're focusing more on um, kind of like the evolution of, of hospitals the major stages that hospitals went through kind of leading you to what we currently have um, with hospitals. I also have included a little section on the Hill Burton Act. Make sure to review it. Um, and then there's some more information on Chapter 8 looking at the hospital expansion, the reasons for its growth, as well as hospital downsizing. So that really started in the mid-1980s forward. And that's where we have these medical malls and all these different outpatient services. Um, due to um, hospital downsizing. All right, now the next page is um, includes videos for this week. Um, for chapter five, um, the videos I've included here, first one looks at the impact of internet on medical practices. And as I scroll further down, we have um, a video on electrical, electronic health records or EHRs. And then below that is, you know, what is telehealth and how does it help? Below that is chapter seven and we have two videos that cover medical malls and as, and, um, the second video titled 24 hours in the ER looking at, um, kind of the issues that the ER faces. Then in chapter eight um, section, we have the first video that um, just gives you an overview of the history of the Massachusetts General Hospital. It's very short. Below that is a history of anesthesia. And then last cover, the last video covers American uh, academic medical centers and teaching hospitals. Now, as you go on um, to when you press the next button, you will be um, directed to the discussion board forums for the assignments that are due this week. Remember, you have two. One is a movie critique and one is a learnscape scenario. 
All right, now, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And that pretty much covers everything for this week. Best of luck and take care. Bye.